Stars who prove the women of Pine Valley are the perfect cocktail of beauty, brains, and bitch. Please welcome <laughs> Susan Lucci, Debbie Morgan, and Rebecca Budding. <laughs> It was not, and it was not in order. Any kind of person. Not person. <laughs> not person. Some of us are all of the above. All of the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, so, I mean, it's so nice to see you, ladies here. Oh, it's and so nice, nice to, to be here. Thank yeah. you so much for doing this show for all my children. We love you. Thank you. We gotta ask, you have been with All My Children since the beginning, yes. since 1970. Yes. This when show. You were a toddler. I was a toddler, yes. <laughs> there I am as a toddler. <laughs> now, this show has always been filmed in New York. When you heard that you guys are moving out west, what, what did you think? Yeah. Oh How my goodness. Like so much went through my mind all at once. I mean, first of all, I recognize that it's a, it's a great vote of confidence on the part of the network to be moving us to a larger, more expansive place where the storytelling can be more expansive yes. as well. Well, but the truth is, I'm a New Yorker. Mm -hmm. I grew up here. I love this city. So you're going to go back and forth with me? Uh, my husband will go back and forth with me. And, and you know, so clearly it came to my mind, my daughter just moved back. Oh. And to, so, New to New York. Oh. And so there was no way that I could move, really move there. Yeah. So fortunately, I'll go back and forth and, okay. um, and I'll, I'll commute back and forth. So I'll work in Los Angeles. I have my wires, excuse me. <laughs> but I, I'm going to be you living here. Cry. Yeah. So you're going to go back and forth. I'm going to go back and forth. You started on the show in 1982. You've been on and off for 25 years. Mm -hmm. However, uh, and you play the role of Angie Hubbard. Everybody knows that. But you, yeah. But you, you just got married last summer. And you yes. live in Maryland. Yes. And that's a little far from Los yes, Angeles. Yes, and I feel like yeah, Susan exactly. feels about her daughter. My husband is in Maryland, and oh. I'm going to be commuting. You know, You're I'm going to be commute from Los Angeles every week. Well, I have to because I like my job and I love my husband. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> children, the commuting. Does that break up a marriage? Tune in next week. Rebecca, uh, Rebecca, all, Rebecca, let me ask you, of all the crazy things your character did, what's your favorite? Uh, well, I'd have to say, I, you know, I had some crazy cat fights back in the day. Yeah, the um, I had a couple in a wedding dress uh, that yeah. I recall, uh, yeah. one of which was with uh, Alicia Minshew. And, yeah, um, so, yeah those, those have been the craziest, I think. We fell into a swimming pool in our wedding dresses. It was all oh, there. There we go. There but now this is... <laughs> those are great. Oh. Look at you fighting. That was a good one. Does anybody ever get scratched? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You get bumps and bruises, for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. where the bitch comes in. Yeah, I that. <laughs> but now, I have to say, because we found out about Susan and Debbie, this is actually going to work out very well for you, Rebecca, because your husband, Bob Guinea, is back in L.A. Yes. And yes. so you're going to now come back. Yes, he is. You're going to come back to reprise your role. You're going to reprise your role of Greenlee. Yes. And, and so when you heard that the show was coming to Los Angeles, what did you think? Well, you know, I actually got really sad because yeah. of the crew. I found out the crew wasn't going, and that just, yeah. you know, broke my heart a little because um, I've worked with them for so long. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't have any idea that they would ask me to come back, actually. I was just excited that some of my friends were coming out, and yeah. um, so it all worked out. Erica, you know, we were talking in the beginning of the show about how many times you were married. How many times was Erica married? Uh, not in real life. No, no. On no Erica. real life only once. <laughs> I, I, real life only I know once. there's a difference okay. between Susan and Erica. Yeah. So how many times has Erica been married? Um, I went into double digits a couple summers ago. Ten times. Ten. Oh, my Yeah, gosh. but not ten men. She's not that easy, you know? Oh. <laughs> you do make them work, though. You do you make do them work. I think when you began, because you were very young, and you still look, you just look so divine. You should see it without me. And you are stunning without me. God, if thank you. If I can you. look like her, oh, please. 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 Did you yes. ever, ever think that you would have a career as Erica that would last this long? 
I never did. I mean, I, nobody mean, has, has I, they? I, I grew up watching soap operas too, and, and I loved the, the medium very, very much, and I recognized at the audition scene that whoever wrote this, because I didn't, I hadn't met Agnes Nixon yet, I just thought, wow, this is amazing writing, and this, this could be great. the words you said? I remember that it was a 15-year-old Erica Kane trying to put her mascara on in the mirror to get ready for her math tutor. Yeah. And her math, her mother said, but shouldn't you be studying math? <laughs> and Erica said, no, well, he's very cute, and I really want to put on my <laughs> mascara, but Did I she remember... Did marry her math tutor also? Um, well, she, he was the boyfriend of somebody else in their high school class. It was oh. a, it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's a long story, but I didn't think it would take to be this long. Debbie, I have to say, Debbie, you look the same as back way when, when you were with your boyfriend, uh, when it was, when it was Angie and... My now husband. I, you, I mean, but now you're married, and, and we're seeing footage of you from like 20 years ago. What do you think when you look at yourself back then? I, I don't know, yeah. but, but you know, the one thing that I do want to say is that because of Agnes Nixon and all my children, I have probably spent more hours on television than almost any other African-American actress in television history. <laughs> We're so sad because we see you guys all the time in the hallway. We love you, and we're going to miss you so much. And guess too. what? We're going to be right back with the men of all my children. <laughs>